ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, who's going to go back to sleep, guys, because he's still pretty tired. <laughs> and today, we're talking about new GPU prices, and are they actually falling or going to fall? So, I just got back from IEM Sydney just last night, so I'm still a little bit tired. But when I got up today, I was having a look at pricebuy.co.nz, which is a great site if you're here in New Zealand looking to buy like a new CPU, GPU, motherboard, something like that. Uh, you can go and compare all the prices from different places. It's also good if you're overseas, especially in the UK. And they have a history tab there. So you can click that and it shows you the popularity, basically how many people are searching for that GPU and also the price of the GPU. So unsurprisingly, you can see the prices are going up. Uh, let's take a popular one, for example, the RX 580. Very popular GPU for mining and for gaming. It's very good value for money for both. Now we look at the price. And you can see it going up. This is going to vary from model to model, but for the most part, it's always going up. But you see with the popularity, and a lot of the time, it's going down in recent, you know, the last few months, say. Now, this is because crypto has been in a bit of a funny place. It's been taking a few hits here and there, and that's causing it, obviously, to lose popularity, which is meaning that less people will be buying the GPUs. But why then is the popularity declining and yet the GPU prices are still going up or maybe they're staying the same or just dropping slightly but not like this huge correction you would think. If popularity was plummeting you would think the prices would also be plummeting. And this is because I'm, I'm not, this is an unscripted video guys, I'm just talking to you guys as I think it is. And to me it's because people have this false idea that uh, just that someone getting into mining, say I want to get into mining, right? So I go and buy six RX 580s. I'm going to make my mining rig with them. You may say as a gamer, well, you know, there you go. You've just bought six. The average gamer may only buy one. Yeah, maybe they buy two. You know, there, you, you, that's what's causing the shortage. But if that was the case, when you saw the popularity declining, uh, then the prices would be coming down because it would be alleviating the shortage, which is the primary cause for why the GPU prices have been going up. My take on it is that the average person, the average miner who's just getting into it, maybe buys, you know, four, six, eight graphics cards, they're not really the problem at all. Uh, it's the big mining farms, you know. Places that are buying 10,000 to 20,000 GPUs at a time and they're doing sort of backdoor deals and dodgy things like that with anything with this big money involved guys. There's going to be dodgy stuff going on behind the scenes. They're doing deals and uh, they're getting the GPUs heading straight to them. Ones that should have gone to, you know, different retail stores in your country. And that is where the shortage is coming from and that explains why you'll see the popularity decline but the prices will still stay high. Now this is not conclusive because this is just price buy and with different models of even the same GPU you can see it move around a bit and there are outliers but this is a trend that I have noticed and it's not just with things like the RX 580. The GTX 1060 is also similar. The GTX 1070 and even the Big Daddy GTX 1080 Ti is also the same. So I just not really sure why this is happening. But I want to kick it to you guys. Why do you think it's happening? Do you agree with what I said? Do you think it's the big mining farms which are driving up the prices because they're causing big shortages with the GPUs and even if normal users and normal sort of people that are getting into mining uh, you know, sort of back off which causes the popularity decline, the prices still go up? Or do you think it's something else? I'd really like to know. Let me know in the comments section down below. Now I thank you all for watching this video, please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already because i got another CPU showdown right around the corner for you guys and you're really going to like this one. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.